integral method it is the quickest method as we have seen earlier to determine the rate law but the condition is if the reaction order is zero or first or second order what we have to do in this method that we have to simply guess it we guess the reaction order in the combined batch reactor small balance equation which will be dc over dt is equal to minus kca is to power alpha we had derived it earlier in our previous lectures and now we have to assume the alpha first like if it's a zero order make the equation and then integrate if it is first order or if it is second order we have to simply put the value of alpha here and then we have to integrate the differential equation to obtain concentration as a function of i if the reaction order which we have assumed for example if it's zero order or first order or second order which we have assumed and that comes out to be true how we can detect it that the plot which will, will be generated it will be a linear plot of the concentration time data but mostly if we see integral method is used when the reaction order is no and it is desired to evaluate the specific reaction rate constant at different temperatures to determine the activation energy so there are two advantages of this method number one is that if the reaction order is unknown we can guess it and if the guess is right we can determine it by making sure that the plot is the linear plot and the second one is that the most applications of this method comes when the reaction order is known and we have to determine the specific reaction rate constant at different temperatures to determine the activation energy and it is important to note that how we can generate the plots let's come to the zero first and second order for zero order the equation will be dca over dt is equal to ra and that will be equal to minus k once we differentiate it at time t is equal to zero c is equal to c a naught and at time t is equal to t c a is equal to c a c a is equal to c a naught minus k so that is y is equal to mx plus c where y is c a m is minus k t is x and intercept is c a naught so this plot will be generated between time and c a for first order we say dca over dt is equal to ra and that is equal to minus k c a at time t is equal to zero c a is equal to c a naught at time t is equal to t c a is equal to c a once we integrate it we get natural log of c a naught over c a is equal to k t again y is equal to mx plus c where c is zero so y is natural log of c a naught over c a as you can see here x is t and the slope will be k and for second order system dca over dt is equal to ra and that is equal to minus k c a square again the same limits for integral and we get 1 over c a minus 1 over c a naught is equal to k t or we can say 1 over c a is equal to 1 over c a naught plus k t where t is the x axis 1 over c a at y axis and the slope will be k so if we assume that the reaction is zero order the slope should be like this between time and c of a for first order the graph will be plotted between t and natural log of c a naught over c a and if it is a linear plot it's the first order if it's a second order the plot will be between t and 1 over c a and again it should be a linear plot and if these three does not occur it means we cannot use the integral method and we have to use some other technique